What's up, boat lovers? Today we're on a 2008 65-foot ocean reef. And we're going to be updating the Glendening controls because he had a DC issue with uh, the charging circuit on this boat that completely took out other components like the Caterpillar displays and some other issues. We've ordered new processors from the factory and we're going to install us. Install us. No, install this. Watch us do this. All right, guys, we're in the engine room. That's our backup processor. That's our main processor. This is the new charger. This is the one that they replaced with, oh, you don't need my shoes in here. <laughs> That's what took the dump. Did some back feed on the DC circuit. Did some damage to the Caterpillar engine displays and some sensors and some in ECM. So, it also did some major damage to this. But we are hoping that everything works out fine with this because if the issue goes back to the transmission, as you can see, the transmissions are a little bit different. These are twin disc, and they use a shifting module that works off of a PWM to shift it. It's just not a direct 12 volt circuit. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that. Then, if we find out that it's not working, most likely we're gonna have to end up changing these shift modules. Guys, those things are not cheap. Just wanna let you know, they're not cheap. You gotta watch your head everywhere on this boat because the doors are like made for, I hate to say it, dwarfs. All right, so we have Goliath here. Goliath. <laughs> yeah, Goliath is working on a uh, Oopa Loopa boat. Oopa loopa doopa dee doo. Guys, he's getting his stuff ready. He's gonna be attempting to do that. I've already started, but he wanted to get into here. So, this is basically a plug and play. So, these boxes here are already programmed, ready to go. There's no trolling valve on this. As you can see on that, that would be the back portion over there. So, it's just a shipping processor and throttle for Caterpillar. So uh, we got Goliath going into his little hole. So he's gonna be attempting to uh, take these things out. It should be just a walk in the park. What do you think? Oh uh, yeah, I've done this before, so yeah. All right, guys, that was a two-hour time-lapse on that one side. Um, so, um, yeah, he took forever doing that. He's having a hard time finding the hole. So now he's working on the starboard side. Uh, not the starboard side, but he's working on the, the backup processor. So we're going to be replacing that. And um, on the bottom of that, it's a little bit more complex because we have the backup. Um analog signal and we have the backup harness so I'm gonna have to get some Allen wrenches but in order to get to that he needs to remove the, the processor off the wall so that we could get to the bottom uh, harness okay it's a common routine that we always check the voltages on uh, that is coming to the new processors. We wouldn't want a problem with the old pro uh, with the new processor. So um, Julian's trying to figure out how to use a meter. <laughs> so <laughs> it's on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you need okay. It's on auto. So uh, you know what you're doing. Yeah, I always put it to AC DC. Okay, and, and then you select. I did. I pressed the light. Okay. So, are we getting any voltage? No, I didn't realize it. No voltage. Yeah. Okay, so now we need to look further. All right, guys. Shut up. Listen. Shut up. Uh, he's learning, and he wants me to shut, shut up. up. So take that shut finger. Up. Take that finger no, off. I had to hear the entire. Uh, no, you didn't. Had you had it. it on the wrong one. Look, he's pulling. Ah! Okay. Listen, if this. 
If it doesn't get edited, trust me, I'm gonna put it into another video. He put it on, move that little finger? No. Move that finger? No. Okay, move that so finger? I, I, so I no, it. you didn't have it there. And it's reading 27. No, <laughs> you didn't have it there. It's, all right? So guys, I did it right. Okay, so listen, he put it in the wrong hole, all right? And uh, guys, I have to tell you, they're not giving me anything, but these meters are pretty cool. Okay, we both, well, he did it, but then you could see me in the hole. Yeah, so he's double checking my work. I had to come in there and, and do the final touch. All right, so both new processor are installed. Um, we don't want to plug the power back in because we're going to verify when we turn on the system that we have the correct voltage on the two red wires and the yellow. The two red wires are the dual voltage input and it's a single ground. So we're gonna verify that we have good power coming into our system, that we're not gonna blow it up, and then we're gonna go ahead and power up the control system and verify that everything. All right, the moment of truth, Julie's gonna turn on the control system. System turns on. We're able to take command here so that we know that this station is working perfect. Okay, now let's go up to the upper station. Okay guys, we're up here at the upper station. The lower station is active, so we have a problem here with this. We do, we did check it. The handles seem to be a little bit stiff on here. So we have the lower station active, but the upper station is not communicating. It takes 15 seconds for it to boot up. Okay, Julian's already turned on the system. The system already booted up at the lower station. But if there was a, a, a configure issue or an ID issue, it would automatically come here blinking quick. And we don't have any lights, it just waits for 15 seconds and it times out. So we have a problem with the communication to this control head. So most likely the internals of this control head were affected. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this control head, get a replacement. And All right guys, so listen, you saw how we replaced the processor but now we have other underlying issues. We replaced it. When we turned on the system, it put this one into an alarm. Now it's no longer an alarm. You can actually could see that we have full control over this. Okay, so this is working perfect. But with this control head, it brought down the system and it was bringing down everything else. Okay, so um, not only did it fry the, uh, the processor and the backup, now we have problems with the control head. So uh, we're going to inform the owner that he needs to replace the control head and let's see what comes out of that one. But most likely he's gonna just end up replacing it. But right now the system is working and uh, my uh, photographer over there is telling me to speed it up. But it is working and we're ready to, to push off but he only has one station. Guys, if you like our content, just let us know in the description below. And like I always, like and subscribe.